Hey guys, Evan here, and I'm back with this carpet. Just kidding. This, um, I just decided to record in this space right now because my desk is a mess, and I don't want to clean it. I really don't. I'll probably clean it later. But, um, yeah, Monday was my birthday, and I didn't really, I was planning to do videos that day, but I didn't really have anything to showcase or anything to really show you. But I did work, I did make a couple of new cards, not too many. Let's see, maybe about one of them, maybe, I don't know. But one thing I'm really proud of is these. I made my friends, um, me and my friend, um, his two decks so far. I still have to make two more decks. So far I made these two, which took really a long time. Um, yeah, so, uh, they're battle packs, so they're, supposed to, they're meant to go against each other. There's Thera and Miko. So those are two packs I made. Um, 30 cards each. So, yeah. I'm going to go into much detail there. I wanted these to be surprised for my friends. Hopefully, I can get my friends to record their opening and their reaction to it. And then maybe, um, if they can send me the video, I can upload it on my channel. And you can try to see, check that out, maybe. Maybe if I can get them to do it, maybe not. I don't know, but, um, if they don't agree to then maybe I'll just, I'll just open them up and show you. Then reseal them and then send it to them. So you guys can know. So anyway, um... So yeah, we'll go ahead and get into the cards. So, my old card game, if you might have watched, is called Sword Break. My main thing was golems. Golems is one of my favorite things to kind of customize. So, um, I did make some golems for the game. Now, the cool thing about these golems is their names and some of their uh, flavor text is in Latin. So that was pretty cool. Because it's like, um, because Greek mythology and because like, the golems are Greek mythology. So I thought it'd be cool to throw in. Even though it originated from Jewish mythology, but I just decided to do it because it kind of like Greek mythology, I guess. But anyway, so I'll get right into the cards. So first up, we have Ferrum Golan. He is five Magicka. He's a Golem. He's common. Um, wilderness five one two. I don't want to read out their their flavor text, but if you can find a translator, you can translate them. We have Crush. It's a spell. It's two Magicka. Common, destroy target equipment. Overgrowth, 5 Magicka, spell equip. It's common, equip creature gains plus 5, plus 0, plus 0, but can't attack. We have Aqua Golem, 4 Magicka, he's a Golem. He's common, when this card attacks, it gains, it gains, plus, it gains minus 4, plus 3, plus 0 until end of turn. So it loses all of its defense, but it gains more attack, only when it attacks. Wilderness, 4, 1, 3. We have Terra Golem, 3 Magicka, Golem, um, common. When this card attack, it gains plus 0, no, uh, plus 1, plus 0, plus 0, 4, 1, 2. We have Fractum Golem, 2, um, 2 Magicka, Golem, common, um, Wilderness, 1, 1, 1. Alright, now we'll get into Inco Uncommon, these are all commons right here. We have Aftermath Scavenger, 3 Magicka, Human, um, Uncommon, Wilderness, 2, 2, 1. When your opponent discards a card or a card they control is destroyed, draw a card. Miko's Bravest, 3 Magicka, Human Warrior. Uncommon, when this card is destroyed, place 3 Warrior Tokens on your field. I haven't made those Warrior Tokens yet, but there will be Warrior Tokens, and each of them will have art for each of these characters, so that would be cool to do. So, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. see. Summoning Carving, Uncommon, 3 Magicka, Spell Equip. Equip Creature gains, um, becomes a Golem, it gains... Plus three, minus five, plus three. Disembody. It's three Magicka. Spell. Uncommon. Destroy target creature that has been attacked this turn. We have Ludum Golem. Five Magicka. Golem. This card gains plus zero, plus zero, plus one for each creature. Each card it destroys. Two, three, two. Wilderness. We have Captain Marauder. This is the first rare um, so far for Magicka. Um, if this card attacks with another card, this card gains plus one, plus one, plus one until end of turn. So whenever, whenever this card attacks and this other creature is attacking too, it gains plus one, plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. Two, six, four, wilderness. A lot of these are wilderness. If not, almost all of them are wilderness. Anyway, yeah. Bandit leader, human warrior, whenever you summon a creature, you draw a card. Three, seven, one, human warrior. Oh, I already said that. Never mind. The rare. Wilderness. I did this because actually I ha I feel like I haven't made that much um um 
wilderness card, so yeah. This card I didn't actually finish. If you see, I didn't do the the, the outline and the background of the guy's art. So we have Protector by X5 Duty, five um five Magica Machine, an, um rare. Whenever when, when your opponent activates a spell, they can only target this card. So two five five, which is really good because if you think about it, if they try to activate a spell that targets their creature and makes it powerful, they have to target this guy. It makes him more powerful, which is good. Um, yeah. Protected by X4 Guardian for Magicka Machine. Your opponent, it's when your opponent attacks, they can only target this card. Five two three. Um, we have Jala, Chief of the Wood for Magicka Legend Human Warrior. All nearest creatures gain plus zero, plus one, plus zero, minus, uh, plus zero. Yeah, five five two, pretty good. Gekka, Chief of the Tide, for Magicka, Legend Human Warrior. All wilderness creatures gain plus plus zero, plus zero, plus one, two five five. Now this is another golem. This is Dominus Elementorum. Yeah, eight um, eight Magicka, Legend Spirit Golem. All golems you control gain plus two, plus two, plus two. When this card attacks, draw a card. Pretty good. Seven, seven, seven. Pretty solid card. Especially if you want to do kind of like a golem deck sort of thing or a golem combo. We have Data, Founder of Secrets. Oh yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go into this real quick. So um, these are the people who created the factions. Now, there's gonna be there's gonna be three of these for each of the sets in the block. There's three sets. I mean, three sets in the block. So this first one is um, Soul of Raya. I'm not going to reveal what the second one is or the third one. I kind of have a plan for both of them. But these are the ones that founded the faction. So the next set, there'll be three new factions. And each and there'll be a new spirit for each of them because they also founded that faction. Now the factions, they can be used with other decks because they kind of correspond with the faction. The faction, But I'm not going to reveal that faction. So, um... Or guild, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Or no one is guild. I don't know why I kept saying faction. Anyway. So there's Data, Founder of Secrets, 5 Magic, Spirit, Mage, Legend. Each time um, each time you draw or discard, gain 1 life for each one. It's really good because the whole mechanic of the Watcher's Guild is pretty much drawing and discarding. So you get a 3, 5, 4. And you gain 1 life every time. You do that for each one you do. There's Onar, Spirit of the Kingdom. Six Magicka, Spirit Warrior Legend. This card cannot be destroyed in battle. Zero eight eight. Um, yeah, there's a storyline for these cards too. So it's Onar, uh, Onar was the first king, and Data was one of the first mages, and Rezo was actually part of the kingdom, but he broke off and started his own clan in the wilderness. So six Magicka, Spirit Warrior Legend. Each time, a, each time an equipment you control is attached, gain two life. One twelve three. He's super powerful. That's the most attack I've ever made for a card. Um, so yeah. I did tell I was going to make a rules video, but I haven't actually finished rules. In fact, I've developed nearly none of it. But I am going to do that. Have no fear. There will be rules coming really soon. And I also, um, I'm going to do some story time videos. So, I made all these cards today. Uh, not that, not, not all today, but during this week. Haven't made that much of them. This deck I actually finished during the weekend, and I was so proud of myself. And I finished this one for maybe my first video. So um, yeah, I was an idiot and decided to seal them. Which, yeah, as you see, I tried to open this one back up, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna open it. So I just left it. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm beating off. Um, taking that. But oh well, can't really do anything about it now. So yeah, that's all for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If that's how you're watching it. Or for some reason, it's up there. I don't know. Maybe? I, I have no idea. Anyway, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. So yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys later.